You got it rolling? Alright, well, I'm Seth, and I'm a self-proposed Stephen Kingaholic here. And uh, I posted a picture of my shelf on Reddit, and it was pretty well received. But some people had a lot of questions, I did my best answering them. So I thought a, a video would uh, be pretty good. Um, I guess we'd start with the shelf itself. It's, <laughs> I was quickly outgrowing the smaller bookshelf we had. Stopped at Home Depot and bought a bunch of 1x12 pine. And it's held together with just some decking screws. Built it, slapped it up. This is a record player. This holds and yeah, and those are speakers. Um, this is a really old glow from pre-World War One. It's very cool. Watch collection, random chest from Goodwill, not chest from Goodwill. These are all our our coordinates. <laughs> um, you know, the well, let's see. How do you organize? Uh, uh, dragon. How do you organize all these books? Like, what do you okay. have them? What the order? Are all up top. And Mina Cujo, which is the first book I ever read. Oh, that was a question. Uh, this isn't the first book I ever read. I don't know where that one went. I was trying to hunt it down, but that's a good substitute, I guess. Got all this going. Paperbacks, and then left to right starts Carrie Salem's Lot, The Shining, The Stay on Dead Zone, Firestarter, etc., etc. Et it, it is wonderful. Christine's, I like that one a lot. And left to right. Uh, I have one copy of the library leather bound red leather editions, both copies of Insomnia. Books, dust jackets, under the dome, another one of my favorites. And this is all my Dark Tower stuff. Starting with uh, Charlie the Choo Choo, which I think is really cool. Um, it's like a children's book, but based off the trains from Dark Tower. Two copies of The Gunslinger. There's more paperbacks and stuff. Wizarding Glass, that one's impossible to find. It was a cop. Went through the keyhole, I really like that one. Just like as a standalone sort of thing. I guess that connects to Insomnia, Everything's Eventual, The Stand, it's all interwoven. And it also, I guess this would be part of it. Over here. Uh, the Dark Man. It's like, um, illustrations and a poem? Hey, first hardcover edition, cool. <laughs> Most of them are. Yeah, it's cool. I like the uh, illustration. Um, these are all like compilations. So there's multiple stories. My favorite one is probably Nightmares and Dreamscapes. I read a lot of them aloud to my wonderful girlfriend here as bedtime story. <laughs> so um, and that'll take us over to the Mr. Mercedes kind of trilogy there, which I like a lot. Storm of the Century, this is a, it's a, it's a play, and that's kind of weird. I, I never did get through this, I just can't seem to read a script, I suppose, a play. These are, what do you call these, fiction? They're like, they're not stories, they're essays and fiction on the craft of writing. Um, I think on writing is my, probably my favorite out of all those. Even though I can't write, I can hardly talk. English is my first language, but uh, it doesn't sound like it. <laughs> There's another skeleton, a Mustang. Um, my skeleton wearing a mask. Uh, you know, he caught the captain trips, now he's here. He's not taking any chances with the coronavirus. He says, <laughs> stay safe, stay spooky. Um, these are my, like, duplicates. So I got more than one of them. Some of my favorite things about these books are when people write on the pages. To Timothy, Love Always Mom, December 10th, 1984. I think that just makes him kind of special. Uh, I think Bag of Bones has something like that written in there. This is his ghost story. Bill, enjoy, love ya, Jesse, 1998. I really like stuff like that. Yeah. It warms my heart. <laughs> I can't think of any off the top. Um, 
Uh, these are his newest books, If It Bleeds, Institute, Outsider. All three of them are good. If It Bleeds has a story with Holly Gibney from The Outsider. I think that's somehow related to these, but I can't remember. Um, here's, here's something pretty cool. So I have two copies of Duma Key here. It's my little boat. <laughs> so here's like the original copy of Duma Key. It's just a normal, normal book, right? Yeah. But then, this is, it's a smaller book. I guess it's probably thicker, but it's smaller in every other way. And it's the large print edition, and I think that's really cool. See how big oh, those wow, letters are? Oh, yeah. Is that like for the elderly or just hard to see? Yeah, I guess. And I think awesome. that's really cool. I'd like to see more of these. Um... I was just going to ask, like, what's your first editions or your oldest books? Uh, most of them, right? Most of them are first, <laughs> first edition. edition. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's the first edition cover. I guess I could show the cover page here. Here's that. And over there. These, I actually really love the book club editions. They're just like, they get that patina to them. Fire started, this is an excellent story. The pages are kind of ragged. and I think they're just made with lower quality materials. And it really, really makes them age beautifully. Salem's Lot as well. Here's my Bachman books. This is a has rage in it and that's all the rage you might say because <laughs> <laughs> he stopped printing it a while ago um, yeah I like that but it's a book club edition as well thinner mother Richard Bachman cycle of the werewolf people showed a lot of interest in this when I was going to sell my stuff uh, a while ago with some quarantine financial problems but yeah there's some good pictures in this one too and then I have these. These are really cool. These are the Marvel comic books of the Dark Tower. So if we start with the Gunslinger here, these are really pretty. I'll just flip through it a little bit. It doesn't follow the story perfectly, but it's it gets the gist across. You don't get the, some of the more wonderful quotes. I wish this one started with uh, the beginning of the gunslinger. Uh, the man in black fled across the desert and the gunslinger followed. I don't know. I think that would have been really good if they started it like that. But yeah, here in the back there's a lot of bigger illustrations. And I'm not sure how many of these there are, but... Uh, They're cool. I got four of them. These calendars, these are really cool. I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. I only have one of these. Um, oh wait, let me see the uh, the front. It it moves. Yeah, the front moves. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, this one has someone else's writing in it, and I just like that stuff. I don't know. Um, yeah, they have like little recipes in here, excerpts from the Dark Tower, um, all sorts of stuff. I like them. I'll have to get more of these. Don't you guys go steal? <laughs> Here's another one of these. It's like a coffee table book. Nightmares in the Sky. It's more of a fiction, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, Eyes of the Dragon. With my dragon. He's scary. Um... What else? What else do I have that's kind of weirder? Um, what would you say is the oldest book that you have in this collection? Salem's Lot. It's the first edition. 
I don't have a first edition. I have a first edition, but not a first printing of Perry. What year is it? This one? Oof. Uh, no, it's a 70 something. 75. I think Harry was 73. Yeah. yeah, it's first. All right. It's first, first. Which book is your most treasured in your collection? Most treasured? Yeah. Hmm. If I could like only have one? If you could only keep one. And a fire, you have to go back and grab one. I really like something about these book club editions being all worn out. If, I, I, uh, if I'm coming up to grab only one. I don't know. I want to say, this, like, grab this whole section of the Dark Tower. <laughs> um, I, I think I have to grab the whole of the Dark Tower. Um, sort of that, I'm, I'm a really big fan of the stand. The artwork and all that. Um, is it a good bedtime story? Uh, I, there's not much else to say. Any other questions or anything? Um... Maybe a few. Let's see here. What was your f the first few books that you started collecting with? Like, what, what started your collection, I suppose? What about Cujo? Read it as a kid. Didn't know uh, who the author was or anything. And I went quite a while without ever coming across another Stephen King. Found this one and started the collection on it. How great. Right. Let's so see this here. Little paperback Cujo is responsible for all this. What are some stories or books that you have yet to get that will finish up your collection? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm missing. Um, mm -hmm. um, did you see this one by chance on these last case? I don't believe so. A lot of people showed interest in this one. I haven't read this one. What is it called again? Omni's last case. Oh. It's a weird little. Small handheld. Yeah, it's yeah. a weird little thing. Um, oh, you know what I'm missing? Mm -mm. Number three of the Green Mile. I have the other five of them here. These all came from Half Price Books for $1.49. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, I'm missing number three. I'll have to keep an eye out for that one. Uh, Let's see, what would you say is the best illustrated? Illustrated, most of the stories don't have uh, pictures. Illustrations, yeah. But, uh, the Wizard and Glass books. Who's I think they're it? some of the only ones that actually have photos in them. And these are the Viking prints, yeah. Yeah, so I like the, the Dark Tower. Where's your glass? Very difficult to find. Um, people ask me what my top five favorites are. Number one, it's gotta be the whole of the Dark Tower. Number two, it's gotta be the stand. Get this fellow over here. That's a wonderful. I'm a sucker for thick books, so most of these are gonna be thick boys. Number two, number three's gotta be it. Number four. I lost my train of thought. Was it Salem's Lot? No, Sam's Lot wasn't especially good. I mean, it was a good book. Carrie was a good book, but they didn't really stick out for me. Um, it is definitely one of my favorites. I probably already said that. Under the Dome is one of my favorites. Oh, and The Shining. The Shining, of course. That's this one right here. I love that original artwork kind of. Yeah, she has some pretty well battered. I like, uh, I like, I say I like a lot. I like some of the... Some well, you got really, a collection, so. Really battered paperbacks. Like the spines are all just. Oh, yeah, let me see. There's gnarly. You can tell people really. Enjoyed them. Gave it some love, yeah. yeah. What is this one? Misery? That's a pretty good one. Uh, it's, it's like a, it's like King's own horror story, I guess. A famous writer gets captured by his number one fan and she does all sorts of little things. <laughs> What uh, would you uh, What would you recommend someone read if they've never read Stephen King? I uh, you start at the beginning if you can. If 
you're a little younger, Firestarter's pretty good. Uh, I liked Christine a lot. I want to spook you. It's about a haunted car, and it sounded kind of cheesy, so I put it off for a while. But it's just really good. Um, I was looking up classic cars the next day, you know. Um, Firestar is good to start with. Carrie's good to start with. Um, I like the. I've always liked the thicker books, so it's really good. But a lot of like, if you start at the beginning and then you read this way, a lot of the stories interconnect. Um, a lot of them have similar places, which was wonderful about this, uh, the Dark Tower. Like you travel through a world with a newspaper that says Captain Trips is taking over the world, and that's the super flu. Uh, yeah, um, I think that's all I got to say on that. Um, people were asking what was under the blankets. Like, uh, they were kind of ruining the aesthetics. These are like full faux, faux wolf blankets. You just motorcycle stuff under this one. Helmet, uh, jacket, pants, motorcycle gloves. Under this one, so everyone calls a Huskies skin is a uh, this gun stuff like it's my hand that takes some extra pistol magazines, rifle magazines, ammo box, um, you know, with the quarantine and the police in the state that they are. I gotta protect my books. <laughs> and then what are these two photos here? Oh yeah, okay, so Yeah. These this is a t shirt from I don't know, probably the internet or something. And these are canvases. These are wonderful. Um, I don't know who did the original artwork. Someone on Reddit uh, told me who did them. But uh, I just pulled the image and my girlfriend made canvases as a present. So, uh, yeah, that one. I, this is my favorite by far. Roland of Gilead stepping through the door to the Dark Tower. And is this one also Dark Tower? Are the worlds? Yeah, this one I guess represents Wizarding Glass. Very cool. Is there spiders living in there? Yeah. Is that all my Stephen King paraphernalia? Maybe. Um, my spooky friend here. That's all I got. I mean, so much to say. There's books. I like the stories. And, um, if you're just going to start reading them, some of the uh, short stories are a really good way to go, especially like Scholarship Crew and Mad Boys and Dreams, which I like those ones a lot. Totally underrated. I really like Under the Dome. I think that one's underrated. Um, so I need to talk about ones I don't like. Sure, yeah. Insomnia. I couldn't get through insomnia. Like the joke is insomnia, but that should put me to sleep. Uh, same thing with Sleeping <laughs> Beauties. Um, I did. It sucks because like the premise is really good, and I really wanted to get through it, but something about the meandering in the middle, like there's no real character development or anything and it was just dragging on for me. Uh, I'm sure someone out there really loves it and good on you, but it wasn't for me. Doctor Sleep wasn't as good as the signing, but it was still a pretty good book. Um, like, uh, Dead Zone was okay. Cujo's one of my favorites. Um, I like Pet Cemetery Christine. Not a big fan of the Talisman or Black House. I think it's the same thing. He's writing with his son in this one, and he's writing with Peter Straub in that one. I think he's trying not to step on any toes, and he's a literary genius, so it kind of just meanders. Um, I really like Desperation. Tommy Knockers was okay. Um, oh, speaking of Tommy Knockers. Someone wrote in this one, but I don't know what it is. What is that? Who signed this? That's not Stephen King's signature. Very strange. This first edition as well. That one's okay. Um, Desperation. Regulators. Regulators, not as good as Desperation. I really like Desperation, but it's still a good book. Um, anything else? Or the Dome 
one's one of my favorites. Where did you, how did you collect all these books? Like, what? Oh, yeah, good question. Um, mm, mostly thrift stores, honestly, Goodwill. Uh, you go through and you just gotta scan them one by one because they don't really do a whole lot of organizing. And usually I find the best ones in the bottom shelf where people aren't looking. Um, uh, we got a bunch of hardcovers at a pawn shop one time. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, a lady gave me, for like 20 bucks she gave me, I know Duma Key was in there, I think that's where I got the large print edition. Um, and a bunch of, that's where a lot of the soft covers came from, was from that girl on Facebook. Where else do we get them? Thrift stores, garage sales. I think that's pretty much it. Anyways, that's my book collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I got a lot of nice comments and stuff on Reddit, so I was glad to share it with you. Uh, I hope it inspires you to do your own collecting. If you want me to do more videos on specific titles or anything, I could definitely do that and we could discuss them. Long days and pleasant nights. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much. Thanks for putting up with my ums and my stuttering and my nonsense. Thank you very much.